this is Mr. T. We have another tutorial on trigonometry in our uh, series here on trig. Uh, the problems today are a few application problems where we'll use trigonometry to solve. So in our first situation here we have an airplane that's flying towards us and it's flying at an altitude of six miles. Uh, the distance from the plane to us is ten miles and we want to know what angle of elevation we're looking up at to see that plane. So with trig problems, uh, even if you're not a good artist, the best thing to do is start with a little sketch. So let's, let's, let's uh, draw an airplane. Just make it a triangle. And we're somewhere over here. And we are looking at the airplane and the airplane's 10 miles away from us and we know the altitude and altitudes are formed by right angles with our ground so this is six miles and we want to know how high we're looking up what angle we're looking up that's our angle of elevation so that's theta so now we have opposite and hypotenuse so that's a sine function so we can set up an equation sine of theta equals 6 over 10 and when the unknown remember from our lesson on inverse trig functions when the unknown is the angle we have to use the inverse trig function to solve that so we're going to take the inverse sine of both sides when we take the inverse sine of this we get theta by the property of inverse functions. And we will use the calculator now to calculate that. Now when we're working trig problems make sure always to check your uh, mode to make sure we're in the right mode. We want our answers in degrees so we're good to go here. So we have now second in sine inverse of six tenths and we could have simplified that fraction if we wanted to and we get approximately 37 degrees so our angle of elevation is approximately 37 degrees again that's how the angle we're looking at at up from the ground so let's look at our next one okay we have a building with a smokestack on top and we've measured two angles of elevation. We've cited the top of the building or the base of the smokestack and we have cited and that's 35 degrees and we've cited all the way up to the top of the smokestack and we want to know this height. Now in a couple lessons we'll learn another way of doing this because this triangle here is not a right triangle but for today we can use our right triangle trig for solving that. We have one right triangle color these in. Our first right triangle is this triangle and we can use that to, sorry about my drawing, we can use that to find the height of the building and our second triangle is all the way to the top but we want to know this but S plus a is the total distance and we found the height of the building so we can subtract that to get the height of our smokestack. So let's do the uh, blue triangle here first. So this is 35 degrees. This is um, opposite and this is adjacent so that is a tangent function. So the tangent of 35 degrees equals A over 200. So A is 200 times the tangent of 35. We'll hold off making the calculations in a few minutes. And then if we use our red triangle, the total height, we, if we use our letters, is S plus A. And that's a 53 degree angle. And again, we have opposite over adjacent, so we can use our tan function, whoops, let's uh, fix that, 
So again, the tangent of 53 degrees equals the opposite, S plus A over adjacent. And we can solve that for S plus A. And to get our final answer, to get S, we need to subtract A from both sides of the equation. But we can substitute this for A. So our, to compute our final answer, we are going to be taking 200 times the tangent of 53 and subtract from that 200 times the tangent of 35. So let's use our calculator to uh, determine that answer. So we have 200 tangent of 53 degrees. And remember we had just checked to make sure our calculator was in degree mode. And we get approximately 125 feet. So our smokestack our smokestack is approximately 125 feet tall. Okay, so let's look at our next one. Okay, we have a swimming pool. It's 20 meters long. And at one end, the depth is 1.3 meters, and at the other end, 4 meters. So if we sketched a profile of the side of the pool, We've got uh, 20 meters here, we've got 1.3, and we have 4 meters here. And we want to find the angle of depression of the bottom, so I'm going to sketch a horizontal line across here, and we're looking for that angle. It's depression because we're going down. Now, we're not using the 20 meters wide. We don't need to make this be three-dimensional, so that's kind of was uh, extra information we didn't need. Now, we've made a rectangle here, so the we can split this four meters. This is 1.3, so to find this side of this triangle, it's going to be 4 minus 1.3, or 2.7 meters. This is 200. Again, we have opposite and adjacent, so again it's going to be a tan problem, so the tan of theta is 2.7 over 200, and oops, that's not 200, that's 20. Let's fix that real quick. This was uh, not two, 200 here, this is 20. 2.7 over 20. And again, to find an angle, we use our inverse trig functions. We take the inverse trig of our ratio to get our angle. And we go to our calculator. So we're going to calculate tan inverse of 2.7 divided by 20. And we get about 7.7 .7 degrees for our angle here. Okay, and let's, we have one more here. Okay, we have an observer in a lighthouse, so we have our um, water, ocean, whatever. And the lighthouse is on the shore here. here. And the observer is up here at the top. Uh, our lighthouse is 350 feet tall. And we have two boats that we are looking at and we are spying down to one of them here, and we have a angle of depression of four degrees. That's probably the furthest one, so let's put two here. Now, angle of depressions, we pretend that we are 
looking straight out on the horizon and angle of depression is looking down. So we have one angle here and a second angle here. Now the closest boat is the smallest angle, so that's the four degrees. And the bigger angle is the 6.5 degrees. And we are looking to find this distance. Now, similar to the la uh, two problems ago, we have two angles here, and we will learn later how to handle this oblique triangle in a different way. But for now, this is similar to the smokestack problem. We have uh, this distance here. We can call it x Oops, from here. And then we have, that's to the first boat, which is 6.5 degrees, and then we have a total distance which is going to be x plus d and we can subtract those. So let's find an equation for x first. Now we need to know this angle here on our blue triangle. So this forms a 90 degree angle and we have 6.5 here so if we subtract 6.5 from 90 we have uh, 83.5 degrees. X is opposite and 350 is adjacent, so tangent of 83.5 degrees is X over 350, and we solve that for X. We get 350 times the tangent of 80. 3.5 degrees and now we can do the bigger triangle out to the furthest boat so this time we have to figure out this angle here which is going to be 90 minus 4 or 86 degrees so tangent of 86 degrees is x plus d over 350 and again we solve for our letters first and we're going to subtract the d so to, I mean we're going to subtract the x so d is going to be 350 and we could use our uh, well let's just let me not factor this here 86 minus our x which we calculated over there in blue and we can bring up our calculator to get our answer here so 350 times the tangent of 86 minus 350 times the tangent of 80 3.5 and we get that the two ships are about 1,933 feet apart. Okay, so we've done uh, four uh, application problems here. Again, one of the important skills is being able to sketch a diagram to make sure you put angles and distances in the correct place and again when we are doing angles of depression on this particular problem you start by looking horizontally and for angles of depression we look down and for angles of elevation which was in an earlier problem we are looking up have a great day